Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am back with another new video to continue digital electronics series that is implementation of logic kits using NAND kit. This is one of the most commonly asked physical design interview question. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's see first what is universal gate. A universal gate is a gate which can help to implement any boolean function without using any other logic kit. And we know in industry we are commonly using two gates as universal gates. Those are NAND and NOR gate. And why we use them commonly in the industry? Because NAND and NOR require only four transistors to implement in CMOS devices. Whereas other logic gates such as AND, OR and NOT, they require more number of transistors. So that's one of the advantage of using NAND and NOR as a universal gate. Another advantage is that these gates can perform all logical functions of other basic gates. That means using these gates we can build other logic gates like AND, OR, NOT, ZOR, etc. And since they require only four transistors, so they are cheaper in cost. So to build these gates, we, uh, we don't need to spend more money. It is cheaper and also it is easy to fabricate in the industry. So let's start one by one each of these gates using NAND gate. Today in this video, we are going to look only how to build logic gates using NAND gate we will see the implementation of NOT kit using NAND kit. This is the symbol of a NOT kit and now we will see how to construct a NOT kit using NAND kit. So to construct a NOT kit using NAND kit we have to join the inputs of a two input NAND kit. So whenever we are joining the inputs of a NAND kit we will see the function will remain same as NOT kit. Next we will see how to implement AND using NAND. So we know that AND means NAND followed by a NOT. So this is a two input NAND and this is the NOT. So we have seen in previous slide that this is the NOT constructed from constructed using NAND kit. So this is the NOT. So this NAND followed by a NOT will give us AND kit. So the functionality remains same. Now we will see how to construct an OR gate using NAND kit. So to construct an OR gate we need two NOT kits. So these two NOT gates output will go into a NAND kit. Then only we will see the functionality will come equivalent to OR kit. Next we will see how to implement a NOR gate using NAND kit. So you know NOR means OR followed by a NOT. That means this is the OR gate. So from our last slide we have seen this is the OR gate where we have two NOT followed by a NAND. So here also we have OR followed by a NOT and that implies us as NOR gate. Next we will see ZOR gate. So to construct a ZOR gate using NAND gate we need four NAND gates. So the first NAND gate will give two inputs A and B let's say and the inputs A will go to the uh, second NAND gate also and also input B will go to the third NAND gate and the output that is coming from gate, uh, NAND gate 1 that will be fed into the NAND gate 2 and NAND gate 3 and the output of NAND gate 2 and NAND gate 3 will be given into the NAND gate 4. That's how a ZOR gate functionality comes. So that's how using NAND gate we can construct a ZOR gate functionality. Next we will see how to construct XNOR gate using NAND gate. So we know XNOR means it's an inverted inverted version of XOR. That means XOR followed by a NOT will give us XNOR gate. So same thing here also we have this XOR gate. So the four gates for XOR gate and followed by a NOT will give us XNOR gate. So the functionality of XNOR gate remains same using NAND gate. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Do comment down below your feedback on this video and share it as much as possible with your friends, colleagues and VLSI aspirants. See you next time. Till then, stay tuned and stay safe.